ladies, it's your girl Sierra. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm just going to be doing a quick little get ready with me video. And this is going to be a voiceover if you haven't um, been able to tell yet. But I just first um, went in with my Physician's Formula Tinted Moisturizer. And I mixed a little bit of my Hard Candy Brightening Concealer with my e.l.f. Flawless Finish Foundation because my skin is a little bit lighter than my foundation that I have. So the concealer really does brighten it up. Then I just use my kabuki brush to buff everything into my skin. Next, I just went ahead and I used my Maybelline um, Loose Pressed Powder, and I just used this to go ahead and set all of the foundation and concealer and moisturizer that I had already put on my face. Next, I'm just using my Physician's Formula Bronzing Powder with my e.l.f. bronzing brush just to give my cheekbones a contour. And the bronzing powder, let me see if there is a name for it. It says Bronze Organics Light Skin. 100% Natural Origin Bronzing Veil. So I'm going to guess that this is light skin. I don't know. I don't think there's a name for this. But anyways, I just went and warmed up the rest of my face. Um, I went um, bronze on my temples a little bit and my forehead. I also did contour a bit of my nose, but I didn't get any of that on footage. I accidentally deleted it and unfortunately I don't have it anymore. But then I just used my NYX eyebrow pencil to fill in my brows. And I just brushed them through and the brow pencil that I use is in the shade brown. Then I just used some concealer to prime my eyelids for my eyeshadow. So what I used was a um, eyeshadow from the Hard Candy Raining Men palette. And I grabbed the very beautiful pink in that palette. And I buffed this in all over my eyelid with my uh, eyeshadow brush by e.l.f. Then what I did was I took the Wet n Wild um, Fergie Center Stage Collection little palette that I have and I used the um, eyeshadow right there on the corner and that was a, it's supposed to be a very very dark navy blue but it actually came off super black so I just put that on my outer corner and I blended it up and you can use a piece of tape or paper to give you um, a nice line to go up towards your eyebrow. But I found that my blending um, worked pretty well at doing that for me, so I didn't need to do that. So then what I did was I took a NYC white liner and I just gave my eyebrow a little bit of a highlight with that. And later on, I did use a bit of um, a highlighter that I already have just to get a little bit extra highlight on my brow bone. Then I just took a Wet n Wild um, eyeliner, a black one, and then I just watered, watered, <laughs> I just lined my waterline, and then I did, I took a little bit down on my lash line. Then I took a gray from an e.l.f. palette that I have, and I... Um, patted that onto the liner on my lash line and I used that to kind of smudge it out um, and then I did later on grab some of that gray color and I dragged it out on the rest of my lash line just to give it a very smoky feel which you will see that I do here in a couple seconds and there you see that I'm taking that gray and kind of um, dragging it out onto the rest of my lash line so then I just took an e.l.f. liquid eyeliner, a black one, and then I just gave myself a wing. And this is a um, Rimmel Scandalize Mascara. And what I do with this is I just kind of um, run the wand through my eyelashes to kind of divide them up. And then I take my eyelash curler and 
after it's dried, I'll curl my lashes and then apply my Maybelline Great Lash, Ma Great Lash Mascara in Black is Black. And the reason I do that is just because I like how the Rimmel one um, divides my lashes, but I like the um, formula in the Maybelline Mascara. So then I do um, do my bottom lashes. So then I took my um, Wet n Wild blush in pearlescent pink and I went ahead and applied that with my Kabuki brush. And then I went with my highlighter, my chubby stick highlighter by the um, Flower brand. And I highlighted my inner corner using a small, a small brush, a smaller brush, if that makes sense. <laughs> One that can fit into my inner corner. And then I just highlighted my nose using and then I use my finger to go ahead and blend it out as well as my um, right above my cheekbones um, around the area where I had to put my blush same thing I just use my fingers to go ahead and blend that out then I use a NYX jumbo eye pencil and milk to highlight my cupid's bow and I went and I first applied a Rimmel like uh like kind of a stick balm. I'm not sure how to explain it, but this one is in Lady Marmalade and then the pink one that I'm using is a Revlon one and that one is in show no showy flamboyant Yeah, showy flamboyant and then I went ahead and went over that with a NYX butter gloss in tiramisu So um for my hair my hair is just two maybe three days of being curled and I wanted to um, put some texture back in my hair, so I used my Conair curling wand. <clears throat> and I grabbed a few pieces from the front of my head, and I divided those into two because I felt like they were too big. So um, then I just kind of curl my hair, and the way that I do this is I start, I well today I started by... Uh, I left like mm, two, maybe three inches of hair out. I didn't curl those because I wanted my hair to be a little bit more kind of natural and loose rather than, you know, tight curls and ones that, you know, were very close to my head. So I just did that. And then um, also another thing that I do want to mention is that um, when you curl your hair, if you want your hair to look like the curls are pretty natural, um, what you'll do is you'll curl your hair in um, different directions so say you can curl a few hairs um, away from your face and then you'll want to curl some hair um, towards your face just like I'm showing there that one is toward my face and then the other ones are away so yeah that just um, looks super natural And no, that's not a real tattoo there on my wrist. That is just a little airbrush tattoo that I got at the fair. I wish it was real. I so badly want a tattoo, but no. Um, so for my bangs, my bangs are pretty long. What I did was I just split them into two pieces and curled them away from my face. And I only held it for a few seconds. So then I just shook everything out and I sprayed a little bit of hairspray. And that was pretty much it for my hair. So then I decided to go ahead and do my nails because I hadn't done them in like two weeks already. So I just wanted to test out my nail polishes and I mixed two different nail polishes together. The first one was like a sort of um, purpley color and then the second one was almost like a little hot pinkish color. Both of them did have um, like shimmer in them, like they had glitter specks in them, which was beautiful. Um, the finished result was a like nice hot pink. You can see that there. And then for my outfit, I wore a long sleeve floral shirt that just said love in the center and I got this from Forever 21. And then I put on a black skater skirt that I'm not sure where I got, but it most likely was from Forever 21. And then I threw on a pair of sunglasses that did not fit, but I thought were super cute. <laughs> um, for my boots, they were my favorite black boots with a nice heel at the bottom. Don't know where I got them, but I love them. So that was it for today, guys. Thank you for watching. Bye.